Hey you guys, it's Sam and welcome to theme number 10 of the hashtag Disney Drawing Challenge 2017 hosted by myself, Crazy Comic Lady and Barry Zem. Links to their channels in the description down below. And this theme is pair up your favorite hero and heroine. And this one probably gave me... I feel like I said this already before, but I feel like this one gave me the most trouble in terms of who to pick because you can't really... I mean, I guess you could, but then it wouldn't be your favorite. Use the random character generator, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try and pick my favorite hero and heroine. And picking the heroine was pretty easy because, you know, Pocahontas, with Mulan being a close second, in terms of, like, my favorite Disney princess is things anyway. <laughs> but my favorite hero was, like, I have no idea who, because... I don't know, I guess however Disney does their heroes, or maybe I just haven't watched the Disney movies in a while, it just feels like they're all kind of the same or something. I don't know, like they don't really feel unique or something. I, I can't think of how to describe it, but there just there's no, there wasn't one that really stood out to me. And I so it kind of came to the conclusion that I don't really have a favorite hero and I ended up choosing Flynn from Tangled although don't take this the wrong way because he's not my favorite hero I just didn't know who to put there so I put him and I don't really remember my exact des decisions uh, behind that um, I think part of it was I didn't want to go with John Smith because then they're both from the same movie I wanted to try and avoid other movies that I've done already, and yeah, so Flynn, I mean, he's a nice character, I like him, I just, he's not my favorite, because I apparently don't have a favorite, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, there's Flynn there, uh-huh, <laughs> I guess kind of thinking about it now, like, does Ping count? Mulan, like, does she count? Had she, would she have counted if she was, like, in boy mode? Because then that would have been, like, the most epic piece. I, thinking about it now, I probably should have gone that route. Oh, what a missed opportunity to do Pocahontas and Ping. Oh, that would have been so perfect. Okay, I changed my mind. My favorite hero and heroine <laughs> is Pocahontas and Ping. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <laughs> decided to do a line art with this one, totally murdered my wrist, um, so hopefully future videos won't be delayed, hopefully they'll still come out on the every other day schedule, um, but if I miss a day or if I'm late or something, you'll know why now, just my wrist is kind of not in the best condition right now. <laughs> I blame the line art. That seems to do it every time. I should have learned my lesson, but no, I, I never learned my lesson. But anyway, um, I tried to do something a little different with this line art. I used a bit of a textured brush. It's not like at all obvious. And then I also uh, did tried my best to do line weight digitally, which I despise. Like I already hate doing line art digitally and then just doing line weight on this is just more line art on top of line art and it's just like hatred on top of hatred <laughs> and frustrations on top of frustrations so i mean it makes a difference and i could have pushed it more i never i never feel like i push it enough whenever i do line weight like i should just go all out and use like the biggest brush or the biggest pen and then yeah, because I feel like when I first started doing line weight, uh, mostly traditionally, because traditionally, I never really do line weight digitally, uh, but mostly when I started traditionally, like I would do a little bit, and I'm like, oh yeah, that looks so much better, and then I color it in, and then the color pretty much erases it, like it disappears. <laughs> and yeah, so I needed to, to be more... It's not a turn. It's not in terms of bravery because it's not an issue for me. Like I have no qualms. Like unlike going dark with watercolor, there isn't that sort of issue. It's just I don't know when enough is enough. I just don't have like enough experience to figure that out. So it kind of works 
on Flynn's sleeve, but like in terms of it still being there and noticeable, but everywhere else it kind of just disappears. So I think for as much as I did uh, do line weight in this piece, like it's still not enough and I need to do more. And if you guys haven't tried doing line weight um, in any of your line works, I recommend trying it out because um, I mean, I personally find that it looks better, but it, it obviously that's a very opinionated thing, but just to experiment and try something out. Um, maybe I'll do a tutorial in the future on how I do line weight. Um, but for right now, I just in general recommend experimenting and trying it out for yourself because it's, it's kind of fun to try something different anyway. Yeah, so doing some soft shading with this, I think, is this the first one I've done in this challenge with digital soft shading? I think so, let me quick look at my pictures over here. Oh no, I did the Lion King one, right, 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 right. The Lion King one was the first soft shaded one. Well, whatever. So this is the first one with people, how about that? Uh, just wanted to try something a little different. Um, as much as I do like the cell shading, I was like, eh, why not? <laughs> and it's like after I do that uh, Snow White piece, I'm like, oh, I'm totally gonna take it easy. Like I had plans for a full body piece with both of these guys together. Uh, thinking of poses was rather difficult. And I ended up like thinking after I did the Snow White piece, why does it have to be a full body? It doesn't have to be a full body. So I just did waist up pretty much. And I think it came out pretty nice. And you're probably already noticing, or if you haven't noticed yet, there's a couple of issues, uh, mostly with Pocahontas and that Jax Films forehead. And that I do this all the time when I draw faces and heads and stuff. I just forehead is really big or the head's really big or the facial features are really small. I do that and I, I don't know why my brain does it, but it does. And I end up fixing it at the end and I'll, I do it. I ended up doing it off it's not really off camera, off OBS recording. <laughs> I just, what I did was I used, I um, used the marquee tool and I outlined the area above her head. I didn't do the eyes or anything. So I just outlined in the hair, around the hair and then the forehead. And then I used the warp tool and I just brought it down and it's just infinitely better. <laughs> and then the other thing I ended up doing was I give Flynn a bit more of a neck showing through the collar and because Alex was like it looks really weird and I'm like I know but eh. so I, just, I ended up adding a neck and I think those were the only things I did off camera looking at the picture right now I'm trying to remember oh, oh I did the background off camera smart Sam smart yeah I um I didn't think the background was going to be anything interesting and it took me a while to think of an idea and then I just started playing around and then what I ended up with just worked. So, but by that point I didn't end up recording it. But anyway, it was just blobbing blue all over the background, just some various shades of blue. And um, I think I got the color from inverting something on Pocahontas, like either her, her dress or her skin or something. I don't remember how I got the blue, but I got a light blue somehow and I just put that everywhere. And yeah, with it, with a textured brush, it's not anything really fancy or difficult to figure out. So you'll see that at the end when I show the picture. <laughs> and anyway, so yeah, there you go. That's the only things I, I did off uh, camera. But uh, in terms of shading, I kept it relatively simple. I think I just used um, some reddish purples or reddish oranges or something and just set that to a multiply layer and then I did a similar thing with a screen layer just it's just a quick and easy way to shade an entire picture and there you go there's there's the final picture so hopefully you guys liked it and yeah hope you guys have been enjoying the challenge so far definitely check out all the links in the description down below and if you'd like to see all the sketching processes of the DDC pictures, they're on my Patreon. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.